BBC Radio 1. It's Radio 1 Breakfast. Good morning to you. If you've just switched on, we have a very special treat for you. Ellie Golding is in the studio. Hello. Hello. <laughs> how, how are you? I'm good. Well, yeah, I'm very, really good. It's very, very nice to have you back on Radio 1 and visiting me on The Breakfast Show. Yeah, I know. Who would have thought it? All those years ago, I was working my way up. I'm finally here in the mornings. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. It's amazing. Looking older than ever. My, my big <laughs> Me eye, too. My, my big eye bags. This is not the age I wanted to get the breakfast show. You're supposed to get it when you're 20, so you don't look like hell. But now I look like hell, but I'm clinging on. My first bit of business to attend to with you is that we featured a story about you on the show a few months ago. It was yeah. from Leah. She was in New York and she phoned in to the show to tell us exactly what happened on her night out. It was a karaoke themed holiday party. Um, so we were all like singing very loudly, very badly. Um, and I guess you could hear it from the street. Two girls walked in and they were like, can we sing a song? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And I even like Instagram storied and I was just like, this person can actually sing and is like shaming us all. My manager was kind of like, who are these people? Uh, they need to leave. Like, they're no one's guest. Like, who are these people? <laughs> they need to leave. We were just like, I don't know. And they're like, thanks so much. Anyway, bye. See ya. And we're like, all right, bye. And like, the next morning, a friend of mine, he DM'd me on Instagram being like, that looks a lot like Ellie Golding. Like, I asked a couple <laughs> other friends. I was like, is this Ellie That's Golding? Me. And they were like, yeah, for sure. So I tweeted at her, hey, did you walk into a karaoke party last night, sing one song, and then bounce? And she responded with, like, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. So good. That, I, and I, when I saw that story, I was like, she definitely did that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You 100% yeah, yeah. did. But did, when, you, when we just played that back to you, yeah. you just mouthed, they said no. They did say no. I mean, they were they were furious that we, we'd come down and crash the party. But to be fair, it was kind of nothing was happening. It was a bit soulless and um, no offence, but there was like two blokes <laughs> just singing the, the boys are back in town. Like, the boys are back in town. And it was just like, no. Um, so, um, and we'd, we'd had a few drinks. Um, and um, yeah, so we just went and I think I sang Whitney Houston and just well, went for it. That is absolutely yeah. correct. Oh, oh no. Yeah, come on, baby. Uh, The unmistakable sound of Ellie Golding. (laughs) (laughs) Ellie Golding sings Whitney. Uh, At least we made it more fun. Well, that's amazing. So it was confirmed that it was you, and that is it was me. Yeah, that is great. But people will all know who the other person is as well. But I'm not gonna. Who's the other person? No, I can't say. You have to say. But it was somebody else. No, I can't say. I can't say. Ellie, you but it have was, to... They definitely would have recognised the other person as well. Hang no, on. I can't say, guys. Come what, on. What, a secret? A, a pop star? No. No. A, a movie star? No. Just, you know, one of those people that you can't a, a royal? talk about. <laughs> it was a royal? Maybe. But anyway, let's move on. Move on, move on, move the on. The royal baby, Charlotte. <laughs> You were at karaoke with the royal baby, Charlotte, on a night out. You were drunk with the royal. I knew it. I didn't say anything about them being drunk. Just me. Just me. Yeah. I was... Yeah. (laughs) I was merry. I was merry. Good. Well, (sighs) lovely to have you back. Um, Let's talk about 16. Yeah. Which is a song that I really, really love. Do you? Of course I do. Ah, You you. you know I'm a fan of your music. Yeah, I know. Um... So this is a this is a really good track, and I actually I saw the video first before I actually heard the song, um, but I didn't hear it on the radio. I saw the video. I was like, okay, this is definitely you're recreating like an actual moment with an actual friend. Yeah. And then I saw all yeah. the stuff that you put on online and stuff, and this is it's really sweet the notes bit that you put up of all your memories from from childhood. So yeah, that was a bit of a waffle, but I just no, thought, it's nice why though. Not? When you were sixteen, you're listening to Pearl Jam. You were um, listening to old Ministry of Sound CDs. Yep. you were on MSN Messenger all the time. You were doing your GCC every day. I think it will resonate with so many people. That video in particular, sitting in a car and having that just driving around town. That yep. is the that is the that is what you do Boy when races. you're sixteen or yeah. when you're seventeen years old. You get your driving license and you're like, let's go. This yeah. is our little this is our little bubble. We can just the drive. The most around amazing feeling of freedom. Yeah, when you when you drive when you start to drive. I wrote it with Ray who I love and she just started out and I think I found her singing this amazing song on um, produced by Blood Pop my friend a friend producer um, and uh, and I did like a cover of it and put it on my Instagram um, 
and then I and then she signed to my label, and then we got in the studio together because she's a great writer, and and then we wrote this song together. But I mean, f- for me, being sixteen was like quite a long time ago. Whereas for her, it was like <laughs> a year ago. So, um, so she you know had the like the relatable stuff, and and she was putting in all these things. <laughs> but obviously, then I I came in with the MSN and the Nokia and yeah. and the MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you know, remember when we used to play with a hoop and a stick out the back? <laughs> Remember that? Oh. <laughs> Nana's here to yeah. talk about the old days. <laughs> That's that- literally what it was like. I yeah. needed a fresh perspective. Did you have yeah. a hobby horse? <laughs> <laughs> uh. From 20, 2010 to 2019, obviously a lot of things have changed with your live show. But what what are the main things in terms of in terms of how you put it all together now? Is it an embarrassment of riches? Same old songs. <laughs> um, no, um, I mean we've we've had to kind of you know it's evolved and we've had to change it around and we've got old songs that I feel I'd feel bad if I didn't sing. Um, especially in, if I'm playing in America, I always have to play Lights, which is the oldest song. Um, wrote it in like 2008, um, but it, but it was a big record there, so I mm. have to play that. But don't really want to. Um, and then um, I just I've got songs that. That, um, do you sorry? Do you say that on stage before you're about to sing? <laughs> no, I, don't I mean want to I, sing I, this. I go into robot mode and and just sing it and yeah. smile and get through it. And I know you all like this one. I hate it. Yeah, no, no. Sometimes it depends. Sometimes I'm in a mood where I say I really don't want to play this, but I'm gonna. Well, I say that on the it. show sometimes. I really don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> about t- about ten to ten, I get to the point where I'm like, I'm done. I need I need eggs. I need a, I need a, I need scrambled eggs. And I'm just like. I'm do you d- feel more tired lately? Yeah. Do oh, you? Of course. What time do you have to get up? <laughs> ten to five. Oh. Well, that's five. Ten to five. Then do you fine. sleep or just power through? No, we power th- power, we power through. through. Yeah. But what time not- do you go to bed? Nine. Nine thirty. Wow. Okay. It's cool. It's really. That's, it's really. It's really good for the marriage. Lot, isn't it? Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> it's really great. It's really hang out loads. Um, <laughs> anyway, this is not about me. Yeah. So you play lights, and you and obviously you play starry eyed, and you play. Yeah. Those, so we kind you, of yeah switch it up and try and we do have to play the old songs, some of the old songs, um, and then for example, at the moment I played sixteen um, a week ago, and like people don't quite know it yet, so it's quite hard <laughs> to to know what to do. And actually, I was so unprepared for that song because it was the first time we performed it. Mm. I mean, I performed it on on um, TV the other night, but um, I got to play. Li- we got to play live, but this was like vocal to track, which means I sing live and the band have to mime. And sometimes that just happens when right. they don't have the right equipment and blah blah blah. Boy, um, <laughs> but but I, I I I literally didn't know what to do during sixteen because I hadn't sort of planned it in my head. So during the, because there isn't anything to do during the, the chorus, and I didn't have my guitar, which is like my crutch, you know. So I just started doing the robot. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember ages ago when I think it was. Um, Ashley Simpson was on SNL and and the wrong track came on and she didn't know what to do and just started like and then just walked off stage. I really didn't know what to do, so I just started kind of, you know, and it wasn't even I wasn't being silly. I just it was like my sort of gut reaction. I'll just what do a TV performance? Dance. What show was this? I want this to find was the a, footage. It, it was it was a <laughs> god. <damn> my <laughs> I mean, it's out it. there obviously on, on a thousand go, mobile oh, yeah, phones. She's yeah. No, it was it was a, it was a it was actually a, a, a radio show. Um, Boo. Uh, yeah, boo! Sorry, didn't want to say, but um, but it was it was up in Birmingham. Um, so some of my family there and my nephew saw me perform for the first time. She's so like, "What's she doing?" Um, but um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever. It was fun. Um, yeah. So we have to, you know, I have to, I do have to have rehearsals and think about stuff before I actually go out there, which I didn't do during that performance. So yeah. and it showed. <laughs> I was really unprepared. <laughs> the thing, what you could actually do if if the if the audience don't if they don't know a new song. Much like yeah. your karaoke days, you could just put the words up behind you. That could be a nice I thing. I think have, I think that might have to be the new thing. A bouncy ball that goes over the words. Yeah. Like, <laughs> sing along, guys. When we were sixteen. No, because I nearly did that, and I was like sixteen. Because I was like, that's the only word you really need to, you know, yeah. learn. Um, but I mean, it didn't really work. I couldn't really see anyone anyway, so it's just kind of a disaster. But <laughs> yeah, but no. Otherwise, it was fine. But yeah, so so for big weekend, I, I um, I've had rehearsals, and we want to make it special. You know, it's it's one of those shows we love mm. to do, and. Um, you know, and there's there's some other really cool people playing, so I, we've got to like you know up the game a bit and make but, it special. But you are also a cool person. Am like, I? Yeah, I'm not that cool. You're one of the I most think maybe famous. I'm older. You're one of the most know. famous pop stars in the world. <laughs> I think you'll be fine. You know, but well, there's but there's, there's there are what you mean is there's some brand new people. There's like, some brand new people. Yeah, like Billie Eilish. Yeah. and people like that on the on the lineup. These people are also amazing. Aren't yeah, they? Uh, really really yeah. great lineup. No, I think I think we just we we pride ourselves on our live performance, and we've you know that we've we've played so countless festivals and shows around the world, and we just want to keep that up. You know, I I, I like to be known 
shown to be a good live performer. So mm. we we always want to, you know, be in, innovative and and change things up and always do something fresh. Stop doing the new. robot then. I know. Stop doing the robot. I know that was. I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> Come, are we allowed to talk about album? Are we are we too are we too far away? Is this private stuff? We can. But it's it's just a bit of a boring conversation because I. It will be out this year. I just don't really know when. That's fine. How? I think the, where. I think your fans just want to know that it's. No, it is. It is coming, and actually, they've got aggressive now. It's got to a point where they're kind of they're they're. When's the album coming? Love you. Now it's just like it's just, it's just you know where is it? Never mind that. You know when I post about my environmental stuff or my yeah. anything to do with the activism, they're like, don't care. Where's the album? So no, they actually do. They they do care, and they do. You know they're they're really mindful and brilliant. Yeah. Um, but it's just, it has got to a point now where they're just annoyed at me. So I. Think, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, it, it will be out soon, I promise.